Everybody out there is doing good, doing great, blessed and staying productive. I'm doing good, doing great, blessed and staying productive. Before jumping into today's reaction video, just in case you did not catch my last upload, there is the thumbnail. Y'all go over and check it out, okay? I'm just saying, you know, you had somebody that had a dress on and was trying to straddle, okay? Straddle the fucking fence, but somehow, okay, her dress got caught. Okay, got caught. She got caught over her in the La La Gang comment section. So she thought, what she thought was, I'm going to address some shit, but addressing or trying to clear my name or trying to, I don't know what she was giving, okay? Because then somebody said in the comments, like, did anybody catch, seem like she was trying to shave nigga. It was a little bit, a lot of little everything, but not enough to give enough about nothing except for... It all will come out soon. So then you say, what are we going to wait for? Okay. What is going to be displayed? What is going to come out? Okay. Let us know. So make sure y'all go over and check that video out. If you are new here wondering who I'm talking about, Shanika Grant, Miss Demonetized. Okay. Miss Demonetized, I would say. Every scammer has their day. I mean, you probably scammed your fucking way through all the way, but YouTube caught on and YouTube said, no fucking more. Not on this day. I don't care how much revenue you have calculated, okay, because your crap and making outstanding, okay, these are her fucking words, y'all, outstanding videos. Hmm. Outstanding videos? Outstanding videos with your kids eating off dust pans, not having nowhere to sit down and eat their food, not having nothing to drink, not having enough food, can't find the spoons and the forks, and you got a spoon coming out your bra. I mean, outstanding videos. Nothing is outstanding, okay? At the end of the day, when you want to scam, she say reuse content, you get what you get, okay? So be teed off. At it, but then I say you came on here telling us that you had a job, okay? It's not even a job, it's your own business. Like you're the manager, okay? You're the manager and you are self-employed. So at the end of the day, if YouTube didn't didn't give you your check on the 21st because you are demonetized and your appeal did not work and not go through, guess what? Go over there and start, you know, cleaning some buildings, some housekeeping, cleaning services. Go do that. Go be eagle. Go be eagle on that shit. I'm like, oh, well, she needs to go out and get a job now. I've been had a job. I got a housekeeping service business that I've been doing for years way before the internet fame. Way before YouTube. So if I really want to go out there and um, put my foot in front of those when I go out there and work and clean houses, I can do so. So anyways, y'all, I am talking about Shanika Grant. Okay, and then that's where it's like, is it, is it, is it over for you in the YouTube streets? Because nobody want to be in the YouTube streets putting out outstanding, okay, outstanding content and just not getting paid for all the hard work that you put in. I mean, nobody will want that, okay, I'm just saying. Uh, looking forward to a check and then you wake up, you don't see Google AdSense, you don't see anything. Then I will ask y'all to drop in a comment down below. Would that humble y'all? Would that allow you to think different? 
or will it allow you to not know what the fuck is next? I would say. Anyways, y'all, with all that being said, let's talk and let's jump right on in into today's reaction video. Reaction video, the video that I will be talking about is titled, Hear the Real T. Hear? Hear? Is she saying her like her the real T? Or here, okay, she's handing, she's handing everybody the real tea. So you want us to sip this shit, okay. Uh, here the real tea about demonetization left me bankruptcy. Girl, bankruptcy? But she was already bankrupt a long time ago. But you called Keisha to go and provide Kaya's cake because you just couldn't do it. Bankruptcy content creators run with this. Girl, we run with everything. Everything from your lies to your neglect to your uh, selfishness to your crazy manic modes. We run with everything. And the thing that I'm running with right now that someone sent me that she posted on Facebook is at the end of the day, um, you can't, you know act like, well, I don't have it together. I don't lost everything now. Trying to say stress, K-I-L-L-S, okay? Is that for your bookies? Is that for Keisha? Is that for somebody to run and save the day? Because you came on and you told all of us, okay? Because we found out before you, I would say, you know, <laughs> we ran with it. And you were just standing still, not even knowing that you was demonetized. And now coming out and finding out that you are demonetized, you want to say, well, I have another job. Y'all don't know what I do when I'm not on YouTube. I'm working. Okay? So if I ever need to put my, I would say my best foot forward for me and my children, that's what I do. Okay? I go clean some buildings. I go housekeeping. What? it is that you claim that you do because clearly if you out here and you are saying that you riding around looking for a job and you are very teed off and upset and angry okay i know you over angry because what you like to give on the 21st is you like to flex you like to come out with your money you like to do all these things and leave your kids stuck in the background but sometimes sometimes it allowed things to be broken down, destroyed, and snatched in order for you to see yourself. And then that's where I say, were you on there with a Facebook post and the song is saying, basically, you want to start over, uh, basically clean it up. But then I say, y'all, I, I don't fall for it. I've seen this before. Y'all remember when her kids got taken away and she's still doing things wrong. I mean, she over there punching the wall, talking about what is it that she doing. It's, um, uh, what do they call it? It's manipulation. It's that reverse psychology shit. It's that to allow everybody else to feel some type of way for her and she's acting like she is the fucking victim. You're not the victim. Nobody got your channel demonetized as you said. You got your own shit demonetized. We're having a fucking strike. And now that you know that you had a strike and then you also sitting here reusing content, they just shut your shit down. Okay? And you gotta wait. You gotta wait. Wait to November before you get it back. So then you say, what is next for Shanika Grant? Because we already know she don't take accountability. She didn't take accountability when she was rolling up to the storage unit and she was blaming everybody on Reddit and everybody on YouTube that she continues and always have to move and move and move because people finding her address. They just messing things up for her. It's the blame. It's the blame game. The same blame game that she giving right now talking about she don't know if she's going to join a partnership anymore with YouTube because YouTube is a scam. Okay. If you make a million dollars, okay, and and they demonetize you before the cutoff day. You're not going to get your million dollars. Well, I mean, you you have to read the fine lines, okay? You, sh you should be able and aware of knowing what is the time frame of the cutoff, okay? Uh, it's, it's paying attention, paying attention to 
details, paying attention to the fine writing, paying attention to just how it actually works. Because I think on any job, you will pay attention to when you get paid, knowing your pay date, knowing what time it will kind of, you know, hit the bank, all these different things. But waiting around on your YouTube check and saying you already had your bills and everything calculated out and just your plans, but how was that? Okay, that's what I want to know. When you are demonetized and if you would have received your check, how would you have landed for the next month when all you've been getting is checks and it's nothing to show for shit that you get? But y'all, I'm going to tell y'all about the partnership, okay? And I don't think I'm joining again because YouTube is a scam. How about you scamming? How about you out here lying? Okay, how about you trying to scam your way through? So then that's where I say, who's going to start a GoFundMe for Shanika Grant? <laughs> y'all going to start a GoFundMe for her because I think her bookies probably will. Might be to help you out. Or if not, it would say, at the end of the day, so many people have told you you have too many kids. You are raising eight kids. You should always have backup for, for as just outside just a job. Okay, because... You saying when the fame started and TikTok made you famous, well, YouTube did their damn job on their end to make sure that you are aware and that you are known as being demonetized and infamous right now for trying to scam your way through with content, okay? You think that you're creating a craft, but as you say, you upload it on your main channel and then you take it and put it on your other channel. But then you say, is that the only reason are the only thing that is against you, okay? It doesn't matter what you want to show us, but what's the real truth that's actually against you? I think it has a lot to do with, uh, yeah, copyright strikes. Also, uh, reusing the other people content, doing a whole lot of things, doing too fucking much. Doing too fucking much so I don't have to do shit at the end of the day. And how many of y'all actually believe she was out there rolling looking for a job? I don't, because then I say, bitch, is that how you dress? You out here with your own business, a whole entrepreneur, a manager, and you going to apply for jobs in this bullshit that you got on. Just addressing other people, letting them know that I feel like it's a scam. Yes, it is, because if you work so hard at after and to build your foundation on what you want, how you want it, how you manage your money, then you want that money. You're eager to receive that money because you know you got things that you need to get done. And here we go, boom, zero. You get nothing. And that's not fair. I feel like you don't get anything. How? When you work so dang on hard and getting what you want to get, and you two takes it all away. And this never, ever, ever happened to me. And I started doing YouTube in 2013 when AJ was a baby. I never been monetized on the accounts. I never knew that you could be monetized to get paid, you know, for, you know, your videos. But for me to put so much effort and work into my videos, I think that, you know, this is a test. And a big test for me because, I mean, like, literally I put everything into it of showing my life to the world. And not only that, posting them videos every day, going on CapCut, editing my videos, and doing what's necessary for me to make sure I provide them for my children. And that's the way I was making it. But since it's like that, it's like that, excuse me, I'm choking. I'm going to go out. I'm out now looking for a job. I'm going to research different places and try to find um, different resources to help me out to get back on my feet because right now I'm in a situation to where everything's at zero. I got to pull everything back up. Um, the struggle does get real. The lies get greater and greater. Greater and more greater on top of greater. I'm just saying. Damn, I guess you can't push Naya to get out there and record for you. Can't get her channel booming. It's a shutdown. And when it's a shutdown, ain't shit you can do about it. I read a comment that saying, you know, in certain situations, people just have to go through it regardless, okay? Regardless of what it is, who try to put a hand out there, none of that. It's just, this is, this is, this is what's 
attached to you. It's attached to your name. This is you and your life, okay? And, and, and there's no way out because you don't want better, okay? You don't want better for your kids. Then I say at the end of the day, the best thing, the best thing I, I feel like is YouTube coming and crashing her shit. Crashing her shit down, okay? I think... We're reacting. I have seen so many videos of you on her fake crying about the certain situations when it get rough, when it get hard, when you don't know what's next, when you're about to lose again. But then that's where we say that's the same mind frame that I would think about toward my kids. They never can have anything. Okay? Can't even have a decent birthday party when you have the coins. You don't think about them. Okay? You don't think about, well, how the, how they feel. You don't think about, well, their birthday is rolling around. Let me do. You don't try to give different. You don't want to do different. So then that's where it's like, what's next for Shanika Grant? Is this another moving situation? Is this another not knowing what's next? Is this a situation to say, if you have nowhere to go, maybe somebody has to jump in now for these kids. Nobody knows what's next for Shanika Grant, okay? TikTok made you famous, and as I continue to say, YouTube did their damn job to make you infamous real quick and real fast. And they always say you need to be mindful and aware of how you treat, especially your own kids. Treating them crazy and displanted, talking about it's outstanding content. And so many people have been telling you for a long time. And you refuse. You refuse to fucking change. You refuse to do anything about it, but continue to push it out here like I'm giving good and great. Just like you and Keisha, you don't never know when Mad Day is coming. I think it's a lot of things that she know. And with a lot of things that she knows, it can go against you as well. Because that's not a fucking true friend. What are two things about YouTube? Can y'all drop it in the comments down below? Okay, Monetize means you are getting paid. Demonetize means you are not getting paid. Okay, She said... Coming on YouTube, she had to go on other creators' pages trying to figure out what is demonetized or demonetization because she has no clue. She don't know. Bitch, you can't play stupid all your fucking life. You just can't. Even though we know, yeah, that something in there is not clicking, but you definitely know when you start and you... And YouTube, you are not monetized. You're basically working for free to get your watch hours, to get your subscribers, and everything you need to be monetized. Easy. We hear so many things about channels being demonetized for certain things, okay? Certain things that they have done, said, different things like that. So then you say, how is it that you know nothing, absolutely nothing about demonetization? You new to this shit. Oh, girl, we're not going to always play victim. We're not going to sit here and act brand new, okay? It's called taking fucking accountability. Accountability and put your best foot, if you got one, forward and go make your way. Make your way for your children. Talk about you can't take the videos and put them on the next channel, okay? Basically not working, basically trying to... Fraud the system, scam the system. I mean, y'all already know what she is. She likes to, to scam and fraud. Same thing as fucking Keisha. Come on. Um, it's almost like you getting paid double money for no fucking work because I'm using the same shit. I mean, I think anybody would think that. As being a content creator, it's basically creating content, putting something fresh out, not reusing shit and still getting paid for it and I didn't do absolutely nothing. So, I would say Nika know what the fuck she was doing, just like she get on here and she lied to everybody, knowing it's a lie, knowing it's not true, okay, or knowing she makes shit up. As she say, yes, yeah, she lies sometimes. She lied to get the things that she fucking want. So what she thought was she was going to play the fucking platform. Nika Busy Life 10 edition, and then I'm going to go over to 
Miss Nika real life situations and I'm gonna play that shit out and maybe they not gonna catch on. Okay? The same thing as she goes on TikTok. Okay? She go on TikTok, she go live on TikTok and to gain more coins, I take that same video that I put out on TikTok and I bring it over here in the YouTube streets. I mean, that could be a problem too because you just put this video out on TikTok, now you're bringing it over her to get paid over her too. It's a lot of things, okay? And this is what she known for, scamming her way through. A lot of y'all saying the reason that she was using or talking about the cleaning business is for the PP loans. Girl, they eating people ass up with the, they got the PP loans and y'all know y'all ain't got no fucking businesses. I'm just saying, so, I think everything she receiving is deserving because we'd have watched these kids go without so many times and, and she allowed herself to have and them not being able to have, not trying to give them grand or great. And then that's where I say, where I go back to that video and she's so frustrated and talking about her kids and what do the people want from her, I'm going to react on that, okay? Because it's just like you give one thing, but you serve another. Okay, you don't care. You don't care about, well, this is what I did to feed my kids and this and that. It's, it, it's not true. Okay, you just got caught. That's it. Okay, and you got caught and you thought you was going to receive your money on the 21st. And YouTube said, oh, the fuck you not. Okay, we finna destroy your shit. So, it's a lot of things. Copyright strike. Godly, girl. But you famous, right? Shanika Grant is a liar, y'all. Okay? She's talking about uh, reporting. Okay? Reporting is not going to cause your channel to get demonetized. Uh, it's YouTube basically going into your accounts and trying to see what they can find. I, then that's where I want to say, I don't, I don't think so. I think it's almost like red flags, right? Your channel is getting reported a lot for a lot of different things. And lately, a lot of people have been reporting for misleading content, okay? Misleading content, basically saying that the content is this, but giving us something else. Just like the prank with somebody stole her car and she calling the police, that's misleading content a lot of things that that she give can actually go against her to i would say throw red flags up to say okay let's go in here and check out this account okay because it's getting a lot of reports so let's see what's happening here so then that's where i say it just like dss dss stay in your life because they get a lot of reports on your ass. But it's to the point that they don't do shit. All they do is build that report. Okay, so then you say you don't know how long YouTube has been looking in to what you are fucking giving. And so then now you got scam. She's scamming, misleading content. Okay, let's jump in and check this account out. And once they did, they see reuse the content. It's a lot of things that went against her ass for so with her saying nobody tells you nobody have to fucking tell you you have to find information out on your own nobody is gonna guide you through the youtube streets you grown as fuck okay so if naya got you starting youtube because you can get paid off of it i mean you should have what do you do for anything else when you're looking for a place to stay Anything in life, I mean, you gotta, yeah, you gotta do your fucking research. You, you gotta know, and then if you don't, then that's where you say, well, let me watch some of these channels. Let me see what they saying. Then I take it all in, and then at the end of the day, you know a lot. But y'all already know she can't comprehend on shit. So even though that they sending her the appeal and telling her, you know, what she have to do, as she said, she didn't understand, she didn't know what to do, so... You got to wait till November. Then you already know you don't work, you don't eat. Sometimes we need to top Sometimes we need to stop taking a lot of things for advantage, okay? When you able to get out there and do what you fucking got to do. And then not come on and try to make excuses for the situation instead of just saying it was my fault, take accountability. This is why you didn't get paid. This is why YouTube did boom, boom, boom. It's a lot of things going against you. 
I mean, if you done had DSS in your life ever since you done had kids, you have a track record everywhere you fucking go. TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. Okay, so she keep talking about people. People don't tell you. Who the fucking people supposed to tell you? Is YouTube supposed to tell you what to post and not to post? I think as being a content creator, okay, and actually cr creating content, anybody would know why would I drag the same content on another channel, okay? Does it make sense? I mean, if I got the same fucking following, why would I drag the same content on another channel? Why does it take anybody else to tell you about what you're supposed to do or what takes place if you don't follow the rules, okay? And, and I would say if more and more will continue to break shit down like this, it'll allow them to think twice. And I say this, this to say the same thing with DSS. DSS is playing the fuck around, okay? If she has done things more than once, more than twice, uh, more than three times, how many reports you gonna take, okay? How many how many cases you gonna build but not make a move, okay? I'm just saying. So then that's where you say they play around. But everybody not gonna play around with you. You can't beat the system everywhere you fucking go. Somebody's gonna catch on. And I think that's just what YouTube did. Shit, okay? Your videos is always getting reported. As... As I talked about the other video where she did the reaction reaction review on Instagram and they was talking about how to make a claim against her, how to report it. So then that's where you say, everywhere you go, you have a record of just people not wanting to deal with the bullshit that you serve. And she's so afraid. She's so afraid of getting a fucking job to work for her kids. It's crazy. She want everybody else to do it. And if everybody else don't do it, I want it the quick way. So now, okay, I don't know what I'm going to do, okay? So what can I do? Start running on Facebook with a sad face like I've been crying. But then you say, you done been through this shit so many times. It's not just YouTube taking your coins away. When you was even getting paid by YouTube, you was still getting kicked out. You to go play stuff in the storage. Go sleep in the car. You're not learning from shit. And then that's where you say, you get knocked down. And sometimes you got to learn the hard way. Okay, but guess who suffers? The kids suffer in the middle of that. You understand? But it's their breeder that's not willing to just try to do the shit the right way. I'd rather get on here and talk shit instead of just trying to do better. She was waiting for her check to hit so she can come on her uh, eating some fast food. She was ready to go to Family Dollar, the Dollar Tree, and Roses. She was ready to waste gas. Not even thinking about her fucking kids, but it shut it down quick. This is what I'm going to say, okay? Nobody has to give you anything in advance so you can get ready for a plan B. You know what you are dealing with is social media. Anything can happen to social media at any time. But with you coming on and saying that you had already had a strike or you received a strike and you was demonetized, I'm pretty sure that would be alarming that, hey, my channel, okay? I'm just saying. And then I would say to y'all, imagine, imagine YouTube is telling her to make a five minute video, make sure she say her channel name within the first 30 seconds, explain how she uh, basically record her videos, edit them, all these different things. But she said they were just sitting in the car and they did not understand what the fuck to do. It's like dumb and dumber, right? Every, everybody got to explain it to you. Everybody got to run to tell you, girl, you demonetized. Where your ass at? Everybody got to run and tell you, like, girl, uh, why you why you didn't allow Kaya to cut the cake? Everybody got to run to you and tell you, like, why you never buy cakes with the characters on there for the kids? Everybody got to tell you, uh, where's your kids? They hygiene. They need her. Everybody got to tell you every fucking thing. Thing that ain't how I work in life as being a grown ass, overgrown ass adult. 
People don't have to continue to hold your hand and guide you through. You are not blind, okay? I'm pretty sure as long as you've been on YouTube, you know what you're supposed to give and not give. If you don't, that's just sad on your part. It's because I'm out here and I'm thirsty and I'm trying to look for a fast game. Not that I'm sitting here and I'm putting all the work in and to make my video outstanding, okay? Outstanding to YouTube and my audience. No, bitch, I'm just trying to pamper myself, pamper myself and get ready for some fucking meet and greets. And also, let me throw in there, why is it that Hayward only has his kids with his wife on his Facebook page? Like, where's the Yarbrough kids? Uh, where is him acknowledging Kaya's birthday, acknowledging Kira's birthday? It's nothing. The only kid that he has on his page from this breeder here is Leah, I would say, on this day. It's a whole lot wrong with that on everything and every fucking level. Because how is it that you have many pictures of your other kids that looks nothing like these yard bros that she continue to say yard bro, but you don't have not one pic of not now kid not telling nobody Stop what they doing and acknowledge my baby girl turning six, Kira. Not even my baby girl, Kaya, turning 12. Then that's where I start wondering who the hell do these kids actually belong to. Only one that he acknowledged on her birthday. You just had Kaya's birthday that passed, Kira. He's not acknowledging them. And they're not even on his page. Nowhere. Wow. Wow. Ain't it crazy how Hayward has no pictures of the Yard Bros? You know how Nika come on here and she say the Yard Bros? The only one I see is Leah. Okay. And the rest of the kids that he share, I believe, with his wife, I'm assuming. Ah, uh, that's quite strange. Kaya just had a birthday. Kira, Sasa. He didn't acknowledge no one. The only one he acknowledged was Leah. So then you say, where's your boys? Where's the rest of the kids? I'm just saying. And then I would say at the end of the day, <laughs> If your coins ain't coining, you told everybody in the YouTube street that Hayward is on child support. Hayward is on child support and you have your own cleaning service. You see how everything that you have thrown out here trying to make it like I got it together is coming back and it's eating your ass up and don't nobody feel sorry for you because we've been telling you about these kids, these kids over here and the things that they need and why you treat them that way and why you don't provide for them and none of these things and you don't hear no fucking body you didn't hear nobody but now you want to serve us trying to say her her is the tea bitch we're an accepting of what you give and talking about make it clear and understand of the tea of what takes place with being demonetized i would say on this day don't reuse content also, don't put out misleading content. Also, don't exploit your kids out here to get paid off of them. I would say it's a lot of shit against you, and I don't feel sorry. I don't feel sorry for you going on Facebook. That's why you took that shit on Facebook, not coming over here on YouTube with a community post to say, look at me now. Bitch, look at Sasa every time you put her on her. I mean, look at her. Look at the rest of your kids. Look how you put them out here. Look how you send them out. Look how you talk to them. Look how you treat them. Look how you present it and you call it content. This is my craft and it's outstanding and they done snatched it away and I'm working for free. I refuse. Bitch, you should have been refused. You should have been refused once people start saying we don't want to see. We don't want to see this poverty. We don't want to see you putting your kids through a struggle like this we don't want to see this you should have been sh took that sh i would have took the shit down my damn self i would say start over and she giving the lies that she continued to serve okay the lies she continued to serve and keisha over there drinking that shit up she drinking that shit up and thought since i'm drinking it up i'm gonna go i'm gonna go have some tea with the reactors okay in the reaction sector bitch i bet you won't come back i bet you won't I bet you won't bring that hot cup of 
none ass tea over her no more. I bet you you won't. Okay, I bet you she didn't think she was gonna get ate up the way she did. I, I bet you, I bet you she won't allow her dress to get caught on the fence no fucking more. Bitch, you better stay over there with Nika and go stick your tongue out and pay for her stuff. Go make her way. Go help her right now. Cause where she coming out here and she talking about she looking for a job. Bitch, you ain't even dressed. You're not even dressed job appropriate. Not even interview ready. Not even filling out an application ready. Bitch, if I was you, I'd run real fast to a temp service or something and explain to them that I have a total of nine kids. Okay, because I'm throwing Naya in there too. Naya ain't doing shit. And I need help ASAP. Just saying. I was famous on TikTok and thought I was famous on YouTube. And I was telling everybody that they hating and they jealous of my life. Okay, they jealous of what I give. They must want to raise my kids. They must, all this lip, okay? All this lip, and now you on hush, okay? I'm on hush rolling around looking for a job. Damn. It always something in the mix to humble your ass. Okay, humble your ass. But the thing about trying to humble your ass, you ain't accepting of it because you ain't out there looking for a job. You still looking for somebody to offer, somebody to take care of, somebody to post a go for me, somebody to help Shanika Grant, somebody to help me in my audition. No, remember, you changed your name to Miss Nika Independent, right? You took the kids out because it's really about you. So then that's where I say, figure it the fuck out. Yeah, we've been trying to help you so much with the kids of what you could give and do better. Now you want to make it clear of what demonetize is. Bitch, we've been known. I mean, when you when you signed up for the partnership, you should have been known what demonetization is. I'm just saying. I'm... It's people on the net that's going around saying she going to lose this, she going to lose that. It's all about how you got to put your mind to play. You can lose it all. Okay? But it's all about the next plan B. How you gonna put your mind to play? Then that's where you say, bitch, how you gonna put your mind to play? Because on Facebook, don't look like you're putting your mind to play. But what you serve and give us, it's like I ain't gonna lose nothing. But then we done saying you lose before. You're lost within the process. So then you say, this ain't nothing new for us. It's, it's the same shit. It just, it's just repeating but it's the same shit. It just repeat, okay? <laughs> Last time, you, you lied on the lease, okay? Too many people over there in the house. You got to go. Not paying your rent. You got to go. Your kids starting fires. You got to go. Now YouTube saying, uh-uh. You can't reuse content. You can't do no scamming over here. Huh, we're not paying you. So then your next step is, I ain't got shit to fall back on. Okay, because I came on here and I lied about my cleaning service, but Lord knows I don't have one. Okay, everything that I present is a lie. Now I say when she sings her songs and she talk about God this and God that during her situations, then you say, okay, really, Nika? Here we go with another lie. Okay, another, well, maybe I can allow somebody's heart to feel warm for me within my situation, but it never breaks down and never feel warm and never feel no type of way towards your children, okay? That's sad to say. So then I say, shit, here it is. A different year and a different day. Still in that same form, in that same space. I mean, it ain't that hard. A lot of us lose or lose a job, not get paid, then you go hop. You go hop for your kids and you go fucking work. You got Waffle House. You, you got so many things you can do or go bingo your way through. That's what you was doing with your YouTube coins. You rather spend your YouTube coins on bingo instead of getting the things that your kids need. Can't even give them a fucking grand day. But you want somebody to feel some type of way for you of how you feeling. Girl, it's always a messed up situation with you because you you refuse to give better when you can. You know how you let your kids down and you lie to your kids and not only lie to your kids, but lie to your supporters and everybody on the YouTube streets. It'll leave you stuck at the end, eating every fucking word. But the thing about it is, it doesn't matter what you are stripped 
from or what is taken and destroyed, you still don't fucking get it. You don't get it that I am not the fucking victim and I need to take accountability. You don't get that everybody else is not the problem. It is just me. It's just me. Okay, you don't get it, do you? Everybody the problem. My kids is the problem. YouTube is the problem. Uh, it's Lala, uh, her supporters, the Lala gang, uh, TikTok, uh, Reddit. That is the problem. The apartments, the house, everybody that kicked me out, everybody is the problem. But everything that I give is good and great. Even DSS is the problem. <laughs> the school system is the problem. Everybody is the problem, but not me. I was teed off. I was mad. Oh, you was eagle, huh? You was finna start flying, okay? You was ready to fucking fly once you received your check, right? Why she just need to be quiet. So, Schnick Granny is demonetized. Maybe this is the end for her. End for her for the YouTube streets. Because she says she refuses to go back to the partnership. She only refuses to go back to the partnership is because uh, YouTube said no fucking more, okay? No more! What you gonna do now, Schnick Graham? Just saying. Okay? Who wanna live this situation? Who want this life? Who want this struggle? Who wanna eat this shit? No fucking body. Then I would say, who wanna be free in this shit? No fucking body because you refuse. You refuse to put yourself in a better place. Not only yourself, but your kids. Your kids. Your kids. Okay? I rather lie about having a plan B than going out there to go get it. Okay, don't cry to Facebook. You you are a mother for a reason. Okay, that's why you get put in those positions. Because when it get rough and it get tough, you gotta bend your fucking back over. I mean, like you come on here and stick your tongue out and you do all those things. You gotta bend your back over. You gotta bend your back over for your kids, especially when you ain't got nobody else bending their back. Cause hey, we're at the end of the day, not even putting your kids on fucking display. That's what I would say on this day. Anyways, y'all, that's it. That's all that I have for this reaction video. If y'all like this reaction video, let's throw those thumbs up. And if you have not, I do ask that you do 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 do, do subscribe. Okay, y'all already know everything that it's Lala I give over here ain't nothing ever for us. But what I do ask for y'all to do is. Drop y'all comments down below about this whole sitcho sitcho. What y'all think is next for Miss Famous? Okay, TikTok made me famous and viral, Shanika Grant. But YouTube said, hell no. You're not going to come over here and scam, okay? Not trying to pull no fraud over here. We ain't having it. I'm just saying. Anyways, y'all, see y'all on the next reaction video. Peace.